ntie yo basebo ne banyabo nna abampuliriza nze ayogera na mmwe rubega rule aho nakorwa lero 12 July wa nsinzi de wano mu habarone nkomyo na te okongera oku okogera ku nyiri endala ezo liimba ngo labye nga ngeza ko kuzinyonyora banafa abo abagalo ku igo linyo luganda good afternoon my name is Alvega Lule i'm back again yet again with the uh, with the uh, an explanation of another few lines of uh, the song ngo labye by the reggae artist Maddox um we have so far down done two verses, completed two verses of that song. So today I'm hoping, um, the next two or three videos, I'm hoping to finish verse three and wrap up the song. So for now, I think I'm going to do three lines, the first three lines of verse three. Uh, let me read them. Let me read them for you. Um, the first line is, Wava aganyi. Tofayo. Second line is Kuba Omuganda Agamba. Third line is Abarunji Ndagala Namu. Let me read them all together. Waba Aganye Tofayo. Kuba Omuganda Agamba Abarunji Ndagala Namu. All right, um. Let me let me um, try and explain them, each line separately, word for word. The first line is Wava aganyi tofayo. Wava means if she. Okay, if she or if he, because you know Luganda by the way, if you remember, is a neuter gender language, so we don't pronouns we don't have male and female pronouns so so if you want to know whether we're talking of a male or female person you need to specify you need to contextualize so wava in this case it means if she aganye refuses or she has refused if she has refused or denied or rejected okay wava aganye the last word there in that line is tofayo. Tofayo means don't care, don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't take it too much to heart. Don't um don't let this don't get too worked up about it. Okay, tofayo. Alright. Tofayo comes from, the infinitive of that verb is kufayo or kufayo which means to care to be worried about something to take something to heart okay um, to take something seriously um, so he's, he's telling his friend if she refuses to listen to you or if she won't come back to you don't worry about it now let's go to the next line. Kuba omuganda agamba. Kuba means because. In this context it means because. Because in other contexts the word kuba can also mean to be. But that's another conversation for another clip. So kuba because omuganda. Omuganda is um, a muganda person, a ganda person. Omuganda agamba says okay because um, the muganda says now he's about to quote a, a famous ganda proverb abarunji ndagala namu let me repeat that abarunji ndagala namu actually this proverb is only partially quoted in this in this uh, verse the full proverb the full proverb should be abarunji Ndagala namu tezigwa murusuku. Or I think murusuku tezigwa ayu murusuku. Like, which means, let me, let me explain it word for word. Avarunji, the beautiful ones. 
Ndagala, Ndagala are the banana leaves. Okay, the leaves of the banana plant. Namu in this case means fresh, but it can also mean living. Okay, fresh or living. So he's saying the beautiful ones are like fresh living banana leaves. That proverb is completed with the words. The full proverb says, um, which means they are not depleted. They never get depleted. They never get exhausted. Their supply is inexhaustible in the plantation. So the plantation always has an inexhaustible supply of fresh banana leaves. In other words, what he's saying is that uh, there are so many other beautiful ladies out there. Their supply is inexhaustible. So don't worry if she refuses to come back to you. So those are the first three lines. Um, before I close the video, let me just play them so that you hear them, see how they sound like. All right, uh, just give me a second. Okay, so here we go. Let me see if I can play them. So you've heard that. All right, let me stop there. And then I'll come back again. The next clip, I think I'll do, I'll try and do how many lines should I do? Um, at least three lines. Maybe, who knows? Maybe I'll be able to finish the whole verse in the next uh, clip. Take care. Bye-bye.